What is the K-Line protocol and how does it work? Hello everyone. Today we are going to explore a fascinating concept in the automotive world. We're talking about the K-Line protocol. If you're interested in the behind the scenes of how your car communicates, then you're in for a treat. By the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding of what the K-Line protocol is and how it works. What is the K-Line protocol? Let's start with the basics. The K-Line protocol is a standard of communication that has been used in vehicles for decades. More technically, it is an ISO standard, ISO 91412, used for serial diagnostics communication with automotive electronic control units, ACUs. K-Line is a bidirectional line on the diagnostic connector that offers a path for communication between the diagnostic tester and the ACUs in a vehicle. How does the K-Line protocol work? Understanding how the K-Line protocol works requires a basic understanding of vehicle diagnostics. Modern vehicles contain multiple ACUs that handle various systems such as engine control, brake control, and others. Each of these ACUs has to communicate with each other and also with external diagnostic tools. That's where the K-Line comes in. The K-Line protocol is used to send and receive diagnostic information between the AQ and a diagnostic tool, often a mechanic's laptop or handheld device. This communication is necessary for fault diagnosis, error checking, and reprogramming of the AQ. In essence, when a diagnostic tool is connected to a vehicle, it sends a signal or a request for information via the K-Line. The AQ in the vehicle interprets this signal, processes it, and sends back the requested information or an acknowledgement. What are the advantages and limitations of the K-Line protocol? Now let's take a moment to discuss some of the advantages and limitations of the K-Line protocol. Advantages. It's a relatively simple and effective way of communicating with a vehicle's ECU. It is cost-effective because it uses only one communication line. It's compatible with various diagnostic tools and a wide range of vehicles. Limitations. The K-Line protocol is a bit slow compared to more modern protocols like CAN, Controller Area Network. It does not support real-time data communication. It can communicate with only one AQ at a time, which might be a drawback in complex modern vehicles with multiple AQs. And there you have it. That was an overview of the K-Line protocol its purpose, how it operates, and its pros and cons. Remember that while the K-Line protocol is slightly older technology, it still plays an important role in many vehicles today. Whether you're a mechanic, an automobile enthusiast, or just someone curious about the tech in your car, understanding the K-Line protocol can provide a fascinating insight into the world of automotive communication. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting insights into the world of automotive technology.